Okay, hello guys, welcome to sixth tutorial where we will be adding the click listener to our uh, notes list item. So what I'll do is like once we click on this, we have to go to the edit activity because if we click on this, then we can create a new note. If I click on the note itself, it has to open with these values. And that is where you will see the data binding also. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, create a bundle. There are several ways that you can send arguments to your activities, but I'm just going to use this one as I'm most familiar with this. Bundle put string. The key is going to be note title and bundle okay no so from here notes note note title see this method is being very useful to us that we can we can get the values we can set the values we can send the values oh wow so note sub title and i'll just yeah, so make sure when you're fetching these values, these spellings and these key spellings are right. These are basically keys that we are assigning. Notes, text. Note text. Okay, and we can also send the ID because that will help us to update the note. So we'll just put it as string, but over there we can convert it we can just write a note idea we can just convert it as an integer this will give us an error but we just add this and again what i'll do here is navigation find nav uh, find nav controller navigate to from home fragment to edit fragment right because we are editing it and this it comes and we can add it here to you know as a place of view so this happens and then also very importantly we'll pass the bundle in here bundle of values that we have created okay so now what we'll do is we'll just simply go to our edit note fragment and obviously there is a lot of work that needs to be done here so i'll just uh, walk you step by step but first uh, order of the day is that once we click on that edit uh, it has to be displayed in those edit text fields right uh, so what i'll do is i'll just simply go to the edit note fragment and I'll see the things that needs initialization first. So yeah, we need to initialize our view model. That's there. And then we have to create some variables where we are going to store the values. Let in it subtitle, let in it note text okay that's great now what i'll do is i'll just simply go to the own view created and start initializing this So first of all, I'll just go to the create and just copy these things because this is what we need everywhere, the access to our um, repository and all that. Okay, so view model is done. Now what I need to do is
to fetch from our adapter because the reason this is very good observation if you made it or not but this is very main when we are clicking from when we are going from our list item to another activity and this bundle is going to be already like we can receive it in that added node fragment right because we have sent it from where from our list item from the home fragment so we added that bundle in that action along with that action right so when we are when this is navigating from home to edit fragment this is also bringing this bundle with it and its values so this is great this is what we exactly wanted right so i'm just getting these keys that i have stored there and okay i'll just make sure that these keys are correct so we have taken the value and we've stored it into our variables that we had created okay so this is what we have like okay let me just check from here note notes text okay mm, why is it giving me an error okay Oh yeah, it's going to be require argument. Okay, two string. So what we have done is that we have saved these values in these variables. We have gotten those values from by clicking on it. And what I'll do is I'll just okay. Title edit text is going to have this value of title. Binding node subtitle is going to have this value of subtitle and simply binding node et is going to have the value of node text. And what I'll do is I'll just run the app to see if this is working, but I think this will. Mm, I'm not sure if this will work, but let's just try. So our app is here and I'm expecting if I click on this, then I'm going to edit activity. Clicked, okay, that's great. This is really good. So what we have done here is you can see here, this title is like already being displayed here, right? I'll just click on back. Okay, my emulator is a little bit like, okay, trying another note. Okay, this is great. Now this is already holding the the text is holding the place in the added text, right? So this is great. Now what we have to do is we have to change it and we have to update it. This is the work of uh, remaining work of this tutorial. So we have to half of the work is done, but the other half is like remaining. So what I'll just do is I'll just create another function of fun added notes 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 okay and fun update notes okay and remodel scope the launch okay and repository update note notes simple and what we'll do is we'll just go and here pass this now we will access this function in our edit fragment so what i'll just do is here view model edit notes now this is expecting the notes 
data object values right and we have already we have the access to those values right that we want to add it in the update function right so what i'll just do here is uh, what i'll do here is uh, binding dot update button set on click listener i'll just go in here and call that function but obviously there is some work to be done so to update the node we need the id first of all so let's just create a variable and just name it the id and here just simply id and id so we have got the id here and i'm not sure where the error is the error is let me just check id is id yeah I'm seeing some error somewhere, but I cannot find it where. Okay, yeah, and this is the same error that we were working on. Okay, so once we are like in the in update button, what we are going to do is new ID, ID to integer, because this ID was in string, right? So, first of all, this ID is the ID of the node that we have clicked this is a very smart way to do it new id now here i will just create new variables to store the values that are present because these are the values that are present in the edit tag so whatever the values that are uh, in the edit tags we can edit them and we can store them here and we can just uh, use them to update our text so binding the notes et to get text this is also the get text and set text right so we have gotten the text and stored it in new title right so i'll just show you this in the practice in a while so just be patient with me uh, hopefully we can finish this tutorial fast okay no okay no so that it text note okay there is some i forgot i have to get the name of it mm what was the name in edit it text the name is note et okay just go here and note et note title is going to be here title et okay so what we have here is title subtitle new note text okay this is good and obviously just to make sure that they are strings because our data class is expecting string values should go away but for some reason they are here but we can just see what is the problem okay note int is going to I 
I need to win so why is it there is an error? This error is gone, but let's see here if I can go back to my view model and what I have done here is. Okay, so. What I'll do here is after this is done, I'll just run this updated and if it's successful then we should be like updating our values and we should be like seeing that change in that list that is being displayed on the home fragment. So fingers crossed. So the app is running. I don't really like the emulators of Android because they are slow, um, but just trying to make the best of the situation. So trying my note, I can change this updated title updated from new text and what I'll just do is I'll just update it and see if it's updated and yes it's updated but the one thing that I did not do is I did not uh, write the code to you uh, write the code to go back to the edit to home fragment let me just read on the app and this is all happening inside the update Okay, so yeah, what we had done previously, obviously it was successful, but it did not go to activity. So I'll just change change again, maybe it did not go previously to the home fragment, change title. What I just trying to show you, I'm just trying to show you that our updating is working. Change sub, change text. So if I click update, okay, updated. So it's working perfectly. Now the next uh, three or four things are going to be, uh, we will update some kind of here, the search view and also deleting note, deleting all notes and deleting individual notes. So I'll see you in the next one.